what's up guys so we're just getting back from Bass Lake yesterday and I thought I'd put together a video talking about some of my experiences and uh, just some of the revelations I had while I was out there um, it was a little different not being connected not having cell phone activity and uh, but it kind of gets you thinking so uh, hope you enjoy the video and uh, here's Bass Lake 2021 all right we did it finally you know how packing goes and getting ready to go somewhere there's always disputes there's always <laughs> stress and confusion <laughs> but we got it done so <laughs> she's laughing over there um but yeah we're looking good poor winston doesn't have very much space though check out his little square i made him here i gotta unplug poor guy's gonna have his head out the window just to breathe Backpacks all around, chairs. Hi, Cooperton. Not a lot of room for you, my love. I'm so sorry. But yeah, we're headed out to Bass Lake. About to go camping. Woo! The drive was wonderful. Lots of trees to look at and lots of time to spend with my lady. But as we got deeper into the forest, I came to a realization. As normally I look for the next podcast to listen to, the next song to select, the next reel to click on, or email or text message to look at, we lost cell service, and there's something special about that. It almost let my mind be at ease, be at a calm. But as we get there, now it's time to set up and take a swim. We have made it, we are down here. Heading for our first swim at the lake. <laughs> hey, mom. <laughs> oh my gosh, the water's a lot lower than it was last year. Was it last year or was it the year before? It was, was it? It was last year. We were like putting a boat right in here. Yeah, here was the water last year. So, the water's still nice, but uh, a little bit lower. Ready to go swimming, buddy? Hey, Kato. Hey. Beautiful girl. Look at Hi. you. You gonna put the life jacket? Yep. Life jacket on the doggy. We had a great swim, a great dinner, and then it was time for bed. All right. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. First morning here, slept great. We had a great uh, setup, man. We got our new tent. You can stand up Winston in it. Did great first night camping. Move around. Wait, 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 wait. Hi. Good, <laughs> good morning. morning. <laughs> <sighs> Cheers. <laughs> but uh, yeah, like we were saying, <laughs> dog did great. We weren't quite sure what to expect. Yeah. With the puppy camping. I was half worried he was just going to bark all night. Or he might cry or, all night. Or just uh, hear other people Never and want to go to sleep. <laughs> yeah. Want to go see what's going on. He was so quiet. And everybody was like in and out of their tents right when we first went to bed. I was like, everyone needs to be quiet. This dog's going to freak out. <laughs> yeah. So we might come down here and claim an area. Drop a, uh, an awning or a Chairs. can of pee. Canopy. You can see other people's chairs. They just leave out all night <laughs> to keep their spot. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of people that already <laughs> The first left time their we came here, here, we were like, that's not fair. But yeah, because this weekend, the entire campsite's booked, so. Oh, yeah, this is what your dad was talking about <laughs> yesterday where the picnic table is, and then there's all yeah. rocks in front of it. Yeah. We did it. stake out our spot, took a long hike, made some breakfast, and then it was time to swim. After 
eight hours of swimming in the sun, it was time for some rest, especially since we didn't know what we were getting into for our walk in the morning. He took us on a duck hunting quest, but then we took him on a kayaking quest. He wasn't really ready for it, so uh, but he was a, but he was a good sport and rode it out all the way. So even with all the excitement, there's actually a lot of downtime. Time to think about life. Time to think about nothing. Time to let your brain process. Just enjoy the scenery without any distractions. Let your mind go where it needs to go. And that's kind of what I came to the revelation of while I was sitting there. It is nice out here. It is real nice. And uh, the question was asked yesterday, what was your favorite part of the day? You know? And I said, doing nothing. <laughs> because, uh, we're always doing something, trying to move forward, trying to work on something, doing some kind of project, cleaning up the house, just regular maintenance bullshit, you know, trying to upgrade life. Sometimes you just gotta let your mind be at ease, let all the thoughts run out, you know, it's like, it's like a, uh, you got a cue line, you know, like you cue up your songs. And I think there's a lot of thoughts that get back up in the queue line. And you're so busy, you don't really have the time, always have the time to just sit and do nothing. And there's not really any service out here. My, my camera works, but I mean, there's no connectivity. And, you know, just come out here and just do nothing. Let your queue line catch up in your brain. <laughs> So I, I had my thoughts while I was out there, and I went about my weekend just enjoying it, swimming, playing games, doing everything we do, And uh, but I kept feeling really good and just letting my brain process, and I felt like I caught up on all the things that I, I needed to, to think about and process, because there's a lot of downtime out there. But when I got back, I thought, maybe there's something to this. Maybe there's more science to it. So I went on to the library for my school, and... Uh, looked up a bunch of things about calming down and, and a lot of them pointed to meditation. And so that took me down to a whole nother path and got into the autonomic nervous system. And I guess this is like something like the bagel, I don't know, it's complicated. But it's basically the autonomic nervous system is balancing your fight or flight mechanism and your uh, rest, digest, and renew. So they're constantly fighting for this uh, for, I don't know, controlling your hormones and, and whatnot. So we have so many stressors in our life and a lot of us are just turned on all the time. We get the emails, the call, the emails, the calls, the texts, the social media, and it's no longer our body was created this way to respond to a lion attacking or um, needing to go chase something or, or things like that. And then when you're at home, you're calming down. So now it's someone on Facebook attacking something, one of our posts or something. And that's the, that's the threat now. And instead of a lion or a bear or whatever. And we just got to be aware of how plugged in we are. The truth is a lot of that stuff's really good. There's nothing wrong with it. But when it's constant all the time, and our brain doesn't get to think its own thoughts, get to do its own processes, get to do its own balancing of everything. 
all those inputs are just a jumbled mess. If we can take the time to think to ourselves and let our brain process all these inputs, you're going to have a lot more calmer life. You're going to be a lot more organized. And that's something I, I got to experience this weekend because I really saw the contrast. I was, I was, I was really wound up. I had a hundred things on my plate and, um, Although a lot of them have to happen, I, I can take five, ten minutes to calm down, to focus on being present and uh, just letting your mind catch up and having time for myself, you know? So um, camping is a great way to just, hey, cut it all out, um, go for the gold, cut it all out for a couple days, and then uh, see where it lands you, but we can all take time. In our normal day to day life to to stop, take a rest, turn off all the distractions, and really let our mind process. So um, yeah, it's the big thing I learned this weekend. A wizard trick, I tell you. Cause then I feel like you can digest better, get thick better, you're just operating on your body's operating on a whole nother level when you give it that time to rest, digest, and not always be all wound up all the time. So that's the message today. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hit like if you did and uh, consider subscribing. And I'm going to keep making some more of this. And uh, just a simple guy learning some uh, wizard tricks. Yeah, catch you next time.